Former Transport Minister Lok Siu Fok has told his successor Wee Ka Siong to eat his words with the Klang Valley Double Tracking Phase 2 set to resume with the same costs negotiated by the Pakatan Harapan government. The DAP Secretary General pointed out that in August 2020, we had said the 4.5 billion ringgit KVDT2 project was overpriced and would be reopened for tender. However, last week, we confirmed that the project would continue under Daya Maju LTAT Sindirian Burhad and still cost 4.5 billion ringgit. In September 2020, Daya Maju LTAT sued the government, we and two others, after Putrajaya terminated its KVDT2 contract. The suit came to an end after both parties finalised their settlement on August 2nd. The dispute arose after Finance Minister Tengku Zafrul Aziz released a list of 101 projects worth 6.61 billion ringgit awarded through direct negotiations during the PH administration, including the KVDT2 project. Lok said an open tender process could not be carried out by the PH government as the contract was finalised based on a deal signed by the previous Barisan National Administration. Lok also challenged we and Tengku Zafrul to list out the number of projects that they had awarded through open tenders and direct negotiations in their time as ministers so far. The KVDT2 project involves the rehabilitation of 265 kilometres of railway tracks from Salak South in Kuala Lumpur to Suramban and from Simpang Port Klang to Port Klang.